Francis Carrefour, with thousands of locations in 30 countries, will no longer be taking some Pepsi products and several other brand names to protest what the company considers to be unacceptable price hikes. The move shows that consumers might be approaching a breaking point. I want to bring our, our next guest for more on this, Clarence Otis, who is the former Darden Restaurant CEO. And Clarence, we have been looking at more than two years of extreme inflation when it comes to food prices, not just in, in, in grocery stores, in restaurants and beyond. Um, what do you think the situation is at, at this point, just in terms of uh, the consumer ability to continue to take any more? Well, Becky, I think for sure, despite the fact that there really is strong employment levels, and solid wage growth, many consumers definitely are feeling the pressure financially. You can look across the board at the major spending categories. So food inflation, uh, rents have escalated, uh, fuel costs, they're muted right now, but consumers know that they're volatile, they can spike at any time, and so that weighs. And then when it comes to their digital lives, so think about uh, connectivity, content, devices, those are taking a bigger and bigger share of consumer budgets. And so moves like these are not surprising. I think what's surprising here, because these things happen all the time, is that we're talking about brands that have market dominant positions. And so that typically doesn't happen with those brands. So that is a new signal. Uh, yeah. Not sure that that might would happen in the US, but it definitely is a warning shot to uh, producers in all consumer categories. Clarence, let, let's talk this through, because I remember a few years ago, um, Carlos Gutierrez came on. This is probably three, even four years ago. And he said that any CEO who wasn't raising prices at that point was doing a, a real disservice to the company and to the shareholders because inflation was going to spiral. He had lived through it when he was uh, at Kellogg down in South America with really high inflationary prices. And he says, that's how you have to deal with inflation is get ahead of it. Now it feels like it's the unwind of that. Like um, we, we've gotten to the point where you can't really boost your margins anymore. You're going to have to deal with reality and deal with the idea that inflation is coming down. So you better bring your prices down or at least slow the, the roll in terms of these price hikes. I think you're absolutely right. I mean, the cumulative uh, effect over the last several years has been significant and consumers have reached a point where they just don't have that incremental spending power and so producers are going to have to focus on, on the cost side. I mean, the reason why retailers are, are pushing back is because, you know, a significant portion of their business model are labor costs. And labor costs have inflated. And in addition to that, they've also raised their technology spends to try to get less labor dependent. And so producers are going to have to do the same thing. They're going to have to focus on efficiency in order to protect margins. I, I think some of them have been doing that, but I think they've gotten used to hiking prices and the consumer's taking it to a certain extent. Does this signal that the consumer is just not going to take any more? It does. It does. And it signals that the intensity level when it comes to operating efficiency has to, has to rise. And so people, I don't think, have really been working as hard at it as they need to. And this is a sign that that's, that's going to have to end. Do you think, as a former CEO, that this is a sign that, that uh, profit margins are going to come down? I don't know. I mean, I think for any particular company, it really is about your ability to operate well. And so you can maintain uh, margins, but you've got to work pretty hard uh, to change your operating model. And so people have been talking about digitizing, for example, uh, their processes for a long time. A lot of people made a lot of progress, uh, but it's been pretty incremental when you step back and look at it. And so now you've got to double down on those sorts of things in order to maintain margins.